Welcome everybody, it's Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm going to share with you today a great project that I shared on my blog StampinPretty.com. Please stop on my blog, I do daily blog updates so you'll want to subscribe and share paper crafting ideas, inspiration, as well as this, the latest Stampin' Up! products and specials. And you can shop for these products there as well. I love our coordinating products. So I recently made these adorable mini Ghirardelli treat holders, perfect for Valentine's Day um, or any kind of favor for a bridal wedding, you name it, or just a sweet little something something. Uh, to leave on someone's desk or tuck inside a lunchbox. Really, really fun and cute. I didn't even know they had mini, mini Ghirardelli squares. I found these on Amazon. And I was inspired by uh, Julie DiMatteo of my Stampin' Pretty Pals community who shared um, the concept for the mini Ghirardelli's uh, treat holders. So really fun and easy idea. And speaking of product coordination, um, the, most of the products that I used come from the All My Love uh, product suite in the 2019 Occasions catalog. Um, you'll see that I used the, some of the Designer Series paper. This amazing uh, ribbon, let me show it to you because I love it. It's a combo pack, but the ribbon I used on those treats has this beautiful white stitched edging, um, and it's in lovely lipstick. Um, but the one that we're going to make together today is with the second part of the combo, and that's a 1 8 inch flirty flamingo ribbon um, that I think is awesome. And what makes this a mega sweet is the fact that it has a whole nother bundle. I use the meant to be stamps that coordinate with the Be Mine stitched framelits dies. I'll give you a closer look at those. This is the meant to be stamp set. You might be getting a little bit of glare from my overhead lights, but I'm trying to move it around. It's fabulous for Valentine's Day, but really anniversary, bridal, wedding, year round, um, just thinking of you kind of thing, gift giving, perfect. And the only way that it could possibly be better is to have coordinating um, dies. And it does deliver in a big way. These are the Be Mine Framelits dies. I love that this more modern version uh, nests, and you can work with this little longer, narrower die. And then this is a more traditional with some of the scalloped edge um, and lots of cute little stitching. And then it keeps on going, so it has a great border uh, with scallops and stitching. This crops out tons of little hearts as well as um, an open uh, space of all those little hearts, really cool. I used this one on this treat holder, that's a little rose, and I did it in Flirty Flamingo, that's what the backdrop is here. Um, so I love how these coordinate together, and I know you're gonna be asking. So I used Totally Tiffany 5x7 pocket envelopes to store my dies, and then I labeled them with my brother um, labeler, and then I have the dies on 5x7 magnet cards from Stampin' Storage. Uh, this product and the magnet pads are not from Stampin' Up! But I will leave the shopping links and information for you in the YouTube description. And I also recommend that you subscribe to my YouTube videos. I have oodles of them going back um, almost 10 years. Um, and I try to do a video almost, almost every week. So let's talk a little bit about how simple it was to create um, what I have for you. I have our Stampin' Trimmer, and I have cut a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock to six and five eighths by one and a half. I like the thick Whisper White. You can certainly use our standard weight Whisper White, but I think it just gives a little more luxurious feel to the packaging. And then we're gonna score, because this both cuts and it scores. This is our Stampin' Trimmer. Um, I'm going to score at two and a half. Make sure that scores. And five. We also have a scoring tool, but I just love how this is just all in one. And then I'm going to uh, bend these in. 
and bend these in. You don't need to add the Ghirardelli square in advance. I just put them in at the end so I wasn't messing with the bulk of them. And then on the shorter end, I am going to use my scallop tag punch. And I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to slide it in. And since this is narrower than the actual punch, I'm gonna line it up. Just make sure that that middle scallop is both centered and all the way on the cardstock. I made that mistake at first. And it looks even. Do you see how I'm using these two little guys as a guide? Those two little metal pieces as well. So that puts in this perfect little ribbon holder as well as creates the pretty little edge. And then on the opposite side, do you know what I'm gonna use my bone folder to get a little crisper? A little crisper crease. And then I've cut a different piece of designer series paper. I thought we'd do it a little bit differently this time. Um, and this is cut to, uh, let's see, one and a half by two and a half. That's pretty simple. And this is another one of the designer series papers in that All My Love designer series paper suite, or part of the All My Love suite. So this pattern is in the same group. And again, both sides are fun and very usable. If I used the white side, I would probably change up the color background of white because I think it shows up. See how it shows up just a little bit less? Um, so I would probably do a contrasting color for the base, which is perfectly fine. And then I'm going to use a little bit of snail. Oh, I should have put my grid paper down. I'll have a little, little cleanup to do later, um, and I'm gonna go this direction too. Okay, and then I'm gonna line this up at the edge. Hopefully that's good. Mm, that's not perfect. I'm gonna peel it back. Pretty forgiving. Ah, here I am. I'm doing a video, I have to do it perfect, right? I think that's pretty good. It's a little bit. Actually, I'm going to redo it. It's going to bug me. Let me redo it. No one's going to see that. You can see me make a mistake today. I'm going to give it a little more adhesive. And then I'm going to try it again. And line it up just a tad better. Alright, that I like more. There's less peeking through. And if you have a little bit on this side, you can certainly take some snips. Do that for you now and just trim it off really carefully. Right along that edge. Okay. Okay, so we're back on track. And so now I'm going to go ahead and let me rescore that. There's a little bit of a hump there, and there needs to be some room for your Ghirardelli square, but that's all good. And so I'm going to use, this is the Flirty Flamingo that comes in the combination uh, with the other one, the lovely lipstick stitched. Both are really yummy. And I'm going to use these scissors to give it a crop. And I'm going to tie it. This one's going to be just a tiny bit different, but I really was excited about it, so I can't wait to show it to you. I actually haven't even assembled it right now. It's just in my brain. And then I'm just hoping that it will work really well for you. So I'm going to tie this uh, over here. And that's how I tie a bow. Kind of like I tie my shoes. And I'm doing it from an angle, so I hope I'll have to zhuzh it a little bit together. Oh, that's looking pretty good. It needs to be a little smaller, and that's good because I want a little longer tail. a touch more. Okay, and then I'm going to snip this end. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to leave it, leave a little extra room. And then what I did, I'm so excited about this. This is another one of the um, designer series paper patterns from All My Love designer series paper. And you'll see that one of the dies from Be Mine, which is this one, with the big shot, crops out perfectly so I didn't even have to stamp. And I came up with this. Um, I did stamp the sentiment, which is from Meant to Be. 
Um, but look how simple and easy that was. So I'm just going to put some mini dimensionals on here. I'll put it on the back guy. And we are going to be done. So this one was really easy because I didn't stamp the hearts. But I think it's cute. And this is the kind of one I loved how I love our life together. And it has the two hearts, which I thought was pretty sweet and sentimental. I might even put a mini dimensional or double stack that side. But you can see how simple that was to make. You can see the back side. Ooh, I'll zhuzh that a little bit to get it in the center. These are the things I worry about. How about you, huh? So that's my finished product. And then here's the other one that I made. So thank you for joining me for my WOW tutorial. Again, please stop by my blog. Subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to my newsletter. I have a free PDF tutorial. Um, if you do, and if you enjoyed today's project or you learned something new or you have some feedback for me, I respond to every one of my YouTube comments. So I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much and bye-bye.